Welcome back to a brand new episode of My Hot Review. Today we will review a set of toys by the one and only Michael Chua from Malaysia. This is based on uh, one of his well-known comics, Office Survival. The entire office scene can be seen on the box. Very well thought design for the packaging. They were released in 2016 but produced by Root Studio. And this is the two main characters, Mr. Pao and Pan. Let's uh, take out the boss, Mr. Pao. He has this uh, typical mean boss's face and with both hands uh, behind his back clearly showing that his uh, character and personality as a boss you know the kind of boss who will squeeze out everything from their employees wanting maximum production but end only with a minimum reward always say not enough budget but somehow can afford luxurious lifestyle only one uh, articulation with the head and however, the paint job for the head is slightly better compared to the body though. Next will be the poor employee Pan, um, who is rising from his dead bed for overworking. <laughs> Pan is your typical oppressed salary man that got tortured at work by a nasty boss. He is actually a human that turned into panda because of overwork. You know, the dark circle explains very much. And this poor fella only can be a human when he is sleeping. Same thing as the boss, uh, he only can turn his head as well. Can you imagine he can only nod his head? Which uh, suit this whole design better. We all know that Office Survivor is a comic. And it was actually first published in Chinese under Pan Gong Si Sen Chun Ji back in 2013 by Pinko Creative. Then it got picked up by Kuropok Comics to publish uh, it in English uh, back in 2016, same year as these uh, figures are being released. If you want to read the webcomic version uh, of Office Survivor, they are actually available at tapas.io. To be honest, I don't know where to start uh, if I want to introduce uh, Michael. You can simply Google C2V Michael Chua and click on every single link that you can find to learn more about him. There's even a video done by Kuropok Comics uh, for us to get to know more about Michael when they release the figure and the comic. We all know that he goes by the name C2V back in Genki and Gempak days. Uh, where Loki was the first vinyl figure ever released by a Malaysian artist back then. Not sure why he called himself C2E though. Michael first started his uh, comic career in uh, 2001 and to this date we sort of lost count on how many comics he did after all these years. Besides drawing his own comic, he also worked uh, as a writer and editor for other comics. With his experience uh, making comics, he even made a video to teach everyone how to do it. When it comes to designing characters, I can't name a better artist other than Michael. He even released a 100 characters guidebook from the Genki universe. He's also in charge of uh, designing mascots for local conventions like uh, Level Up KL and TAGCC. His never-ending Tales characters even got blown up in a mall at Hong Kong for Halloween few years back. With his experience, he got invited to give talk on character design uh, both locally and overseas. He's also involved in uh, many exhibitions and art shows. Besides that, he appears in magazines and newspapers for numerous times. Other than the original version of Mr. Pao and Pan, there were other limited runs for alternative uh, versions and also one-off uh, being released through the years. Besides being a comic artist, Michael also pushing himself to be a toy artist as well with his uh, other releases like Rough and Teddy Bee from the Never Ending Tales, Toon M and of course the latest Yurei Nekosama. He also customized toys as well for the other artists, best known for his pedal pop colorway. Being known as one of the taiko in the local toy and comic scene, He's always looking after others, especially the younger artists. Michael is definitely one of the most hardworking artists we know. We will include all the information and the description box below. Don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep hoarding! Oi, why are you still watching YouTube? Get back to work!